Hi, this is Rick Morgan. I'm going to show you the first of my two methods for removing a square bound cover. They're very similar and uh, the gist of it is if you're impatient is I basically soak it uh, in a solution with a surfactant in it. And the surfactant helps to permeate the, the binding glue and then I let it dry and then I take the cover off. Usually it just comes off. So essentially you, you can soak it for a short time and pull it out and then let it dry just touch it, let it dry, touch it, let it dry, touch it, let it dry. That's the slow way and it's usually uh, my preferred way if I'm being super careful. And the reason is because the longer you leave it just touching, the more the capillary action of the moisture will pull moisture up the sides of the book and that can cause what looks like water damage on the interior. It's just more cleaning for you later. Um, better is to let it sit for about uh, 20 minutes and you just barely kiss the solution of a MacuClean with the spine of the book you'll see and that it if it sucks enough up the uh, volume drops and it will break the contact and it, it can't absorb much more and won't soak through the whole book I usually leave it for about 20 minutes I let it air dry to the touch and the trick is the trick is that the outer paper the cover has to be dry while the binding glue is still wet because then the paper is strong and the glue is weak and that's the the differentiation you want to make so uh, you can go ahead and watch this video in the future i'll also show uh, you know uh, repairing like replacing the cover but it does involve adding you know glue or adhesive to the spine so it's definitely a restoration thing for those of you who are super uh, you know grade label color sensitive which appears to be almost all of you um, then you would probably not want to do this uh, if you think that anybody could tell it you did it um, but I'll do that video uh, next time uh, I didn't really want to do the one where I just touched it a bunch of times and the, the, took the long it would be a super boring video so I did the faster method and then you can you can see how it works here hope you enjoy the video take care bye so this is an example of what we're gonna do we're taking to take a book like this giant size Marvel triple action and the idea is to take the cover off and then later on I'll show you how to like to, to square up this uh, spine again. But the idea is we want to get it off without tearing the cover, which this one had already had some tears and cracks in it, or rusting these staples. You see there's staples in the front and back. And then later we'll put it back on. And you'll get, this process will make some water stains like this. It's, it's inevitable, but I'll show you what to do. All right, so come over here. I'm going to take this giant size defenders okay this book is already got a tear right here okay and we just want to get this cover off and then we'll it's pretty bad look how bad this cover is right it's all smashed and we'll see why when we get that off of there okay so here's what we're going to do we filled up this container with a solution of five percent immaculate and we use this stick you see the lines on there nolan yes so these lines that depth exactly in here okay then we're going to take this book and we are going to put the spine and line the spine up with the same, these little lines on either side of this holder. There's a line. Can you see it? Show them real close, bud. So that line, we're going to line that up at that same depth there. Perhaps just a hair past it is okay, but not a hair the other way. And it's going to be in the center of this window. Okay. And I'm just going to line that up just right. Now I'm going to put another piece on it, also lined up. Okay. And I have it on this piece of paper so I can slide it off easily. I'm going to take a couple of these clamps. I'm going to put this in here, and it should be exactly the right depth to just barely get it wet. Is it barely wet? Can you see that? Can you see it, Nolan? It's it is and we're gonna put these clamps here and I'll make a holder for this whole thing later that's gonna hold it straight up and down you see I see and then we're gonna leave it here for 20 minutes see what it's doing and it's gonna soak it's gonna capillary action up but it can only go so far right and it can't go too far I'm gonna leave it there for exactly 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna let it dry okay and we'll see what happens go down a little bit the window there so the idea is that we're going to soak through through the binding ink, uh, the book binding ink, the book binding glue, 
and the paper. But we gotta let the paper dry while the glue's still damp, and that's the time we can take the cover off. It might take several efforts to get this done. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's just, we'll just wait and we'll come back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes now. We're gonna remove this, and we're just gonna let it dry. So it seems like we're gonna do a lot of really interesting things here, but we're not. We're just gonna let it dry because wet paper is weak paper and we need this paper to be dry at the same time that the rest of the book is actually, the inside of the book is actually wet. So it's gonna be wet quite a ways up into the book here. And you're gonna see that inside, especially on the edges. But we're gonna let this dry because we don't want it to rip when we're trying to remove it. And it may take several times. So we're just gonna let this sit here for a while until it air dries and you can see how bad this back's gonna get but don't worry we're gonna clean the whole cover it's the inside pages that can be sort of permanently scarred that way but just to see if we're lucky because sometimes we're lucky the first time we're just gonna open this up all the way and see if it comes off okay but see this line right here that's the line that we're gonna work on to get this thing dried out so we'll leave that go all right, so we've taken out, we let it air dry, and this little piece came off, I noticed, when it was drying, but it was okay. It was split on the ends anyway, so. But, now we'll notice that what's gonna happen is the water went way up the sides here when it was drying. Now, if you don't want the water to go up that far, just touch it, just put it in, touch it. I won't show my hands here. Touch it for a second and take it out, and then wait 20 minutes and touch it for a second and pick up 20 minutes. It's gonna take you like all day to do that, but it won't crawl up the sides very far. Okay, so show the book now, Nolan. Okay, get over here and show the book this way. Here, I'll turn it your way, actually. There you go. Now, we're gonna open it, we'll see what happens. The glue, the paper's dry and the glue's wet. You want the paper to be strong, but the glue to be weak, and it usually just comes right off. So, there we go. And look at this, actually, it's not quite off all the way, but it's a lot off, right? Let's take a look here. If it wasn't, I just kind of run this knife along this edge here. And you run it literally like you literally touch the actual book. Okay, and that helps get the cover off. And I'm just lift, lift this up. Here we go. This has come right off of there. See that? Yeah. So that is, and you can just take this glue now. You can just rub and just pick it right off of here. And so here's the cover, the square bound cover. And it's weird, it looks funny. We're gonna, we'll wash it and we'll put this back on. Right? But here it is, it's come off. It was split on the ends before. There's no glue on it whatsoever. All the glue's over here, right? And we'll clean it up. And I'll show you how to re-square this, all right? Go ahead, turn it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna taking, I, normally I take my scupula, but I don't have one here with me today. So I'll just take, I'm just gonna scrape this glue off and it kind of rolls off while it's damp. Rub it with your finger. And you'll get a lot of this binding glue off of here and you'll be able to square up the book nicely then. This is the stuff that makes it look, take a look at my fingers here. This is the stuff that makes it look bad, right? So just kind of like, as much of this off as you can initially, right there. And then we gotta let this dry before we can work on it more all the way. And I'm gonna get as much of this stuff I, that, that comes off easily as I can get, which is gonna be almost all of it. The clean really softens it up much more than water does. There you go. So I'm just going to kind of do this for a while and get all of that off of there and then till it's and wait till it's dry, okay? All right, that's enough. So in this case, this one the book there's a book binder, book binding errors there always are. You see how this one's this is in further than the others. It prevents it from being ever perfectly really square. But the the thing we're going to try to do is get off as much foreign material as possible so that we can square it up perfectly. And we're going to do that, we're going to sand that off of there. And we're going to use these two things again. We're going to like line this up so it's just a hair past. Because we don't want to sand these apart, right? We just want to just want to clean them up. And so we're going to just have these poke just the teeniest bit above that spot there. And then we're going to put another the other half of this guy on top. These are the same boards we used before. Right? We're just going to squeeze them together just to protect it so we can't do anything bad, really. And we're only going to use a thousand grit paper on our belt sander here. See that? And we're going to just 
polish it off. So there we go, ready? Yeah. Rub it. A little bit. And just kind of cleaning it up. See how it's cleaning up that edge right there? Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna clean it up a tiny bit. Just gonna kind of nurse it, because this is a thousand grit, it's like polishing it. That glue is coming right off. And this, this plastic keeps the book still, right? And it also prevents you from going through the paper. There we go. And that's like in square again, right? So let's take a look at it now. So the edges are getting cleaner. Let's take a look. edges here are getting squared up more because the glue is not on it as much and it's um and we're not going through any of the paper so we're just kind of balling that glue off of there because all we're doing is cleaning the glue off it's still a little damp so i'm gonna let it dry some more there's probably it's probably enough to square it up but you see how it makes these little balls those little balls are like yeah. sort of interfere with the process and then um then we will put the cover back on. We're not gonna clean the cover because it takes a long time, but just this is just the instructional example. Look at all this glue I'm getting out of there, man. But uh, there's glue between these pages. We're just gonna, this is definitely restoration. This is definitely like green label, or not the purple label, level stuff. Um, so there's no there's no doubt about it because you'll have to put more glue on. You can sort of reactivate the same glue, but it's uh, it's not easy to do. Right, that's it. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. That's what I do. Obviously, it is not for the faint of heart. So it is. Uh, you are guaranteed to ruin the first uh, few books you try this on. So get some and, and just practice. You maybe even like uh, you know some square bound magazines like if you have some Reader's Digest or some Playboys or something around there square bound that you know it's essentially the same the same process. I like to use a vacuum clean. I'm not sure if other surfactants work. They probably do, but any surfactant works than better than just water. The water it's the glue binding glue is still very sticky, and there's that danger point where you're trying to pull that cover off of the adhesive, and then the adhesive still would tear some of it. And also, you're talking about folded paper that's been folded a lot of times when it's wet, and if you're pulling on it, it's going to be a problem. So if the if the book is still sticking to the glue, soak it again, take it off again. It'll eventually just pop right off. If it doesn't, I take an X-Acto knife. I don't know if it looks like this here, and I run this, not the pointy side down. I do the, the back side down right along the paper in the glue so i'm not in danger of cutting it just using the back i need something very thin so i use that and just kind of rub the glue away and then, then the cover will just fall off and then let it dry completely and then you can just rub with an eraser you can rub the glue off of the cover and off the spine you don't have to use a 1000 grit i sometimes use 1500 grit sander like i do it helps because otherwise you're rubbing all day but then the spine will be relatively squared up and then you can Use your favorite adhesive, the PVA glue or the methyl cellulose, and dissolve it and, and just dab a little on the book, you know, not on the, try not to put it on the actual cover, but on the book itself. And then you can square it up with a, a bone folder or something else and um, and then press it. And then it will, it'll be nice. And so you can even take the book when you're replacing the cover, you can crease it like you fold the book with a bone folder so it makes a nice little square before you put it in and maybe i'll show you that method you can't do it obviously if the paper is too, too brittle and then it, it it makes it look nice again you know and you uh it looks it looks good i think so well anyway that's that's it that's the method and i'll if you're interested if people are interested in i will show how to reassemble the book i'm sure there are going to be a lot of comments about what color labels and restoration i know i super know and i know you're going to tell me Anyway, but uh, I get it. This is definitely a resto, and uh, but people ask me a lot, so ask me what I do and how I do it, and there you go, there you go. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.